You know, one of the biggest changes that came to the Fortnite Island in Chapter 2 Season 5 was the new NPC and bounty system, allowing you to earn gold to grab interesting new exotics. Only the pros were totally ignoring it. That is until gold rates were buffed up in the last patch. Bunch of Crunch saw me so excited today, I'm gonna take you on a non-stop tour of the Apollo Island to bring you up to speed on the five exotics that you need to try out in arena and any tournaments that you enter. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Okay guys, the first exotic weapon in today's video is the Storm Scout. And you know, it can be found in one of season five's new POIs, Hunter's Haven, from one of the Battle Pass skins, Lexa for 500 bars. We were first introduced to the Storm Scout Sniper back in Chapter 1 Season 9. It was an incredibly unique weapon that would allow players to see the future of the storm through the use of a special weather map in the scope of a weapon, right? It was eventually vaulted in Season 10 after the automatic sniper rifle was introduced. And, you know, it looked like we were never going to see it again. And that is until it was introduced at the start of Season 5. So the exotic version of the Storm Scout is exactly the same as the original legendary version of the weapon. It functions in the exact same way and does 85 damage to the body or over 200 damage to the head. The only difference and what makes it powerful enough to show up in today's video is the fact that, you know, if you get this Storm Scout, you're going to be the only person in the game to know where future storm locations are going to be. That's a pretty big deal, guys, and it's going to allow you to plan out your game way better than anybody else. So to pick up the Storm Scout, listen, we advise dropping into Weeping Woods. Complete a couple of challenges, you know, grab some items, and then rotate up through to Lex's house in Hunter's Haven. From Hunter's Haven, all right, you can then choose to rotate, you know, wherever you want to, depending on where the Storm Scout says the next zone is going to end up. It's a sniper with incredible damage that doubles as one of the best information tools in the entire game. So, you guys got to give it a shot in your next game of Arena. It might just surprise you. All right, guys, you know what else might surprise you? The fact that we've got 20% off all our services on ProGuys.com like right now. Up until the 20th of February, you guys can claim 20% off on our courses, on our VOD review system, and on our master classes. So you could just use code RANKUP2021 on checkout. All right, guys, our second exotic weapon that you need to try is yet another sniper. And at first glance, you might think that this one looks a little familiar. Well, it should. And that's because it's actually modeled off of the best sniper that was ever added to Fortnite, the Heavy Sniper. We're talking about the Boom Sniper Rifle. Looks at where this weapon's similarity to the Heavy Sniper in, because instead of just shooting out devastating heavy bullets, this sniper actually shoots out clingers. Before the Boom Sniper Rifle, we hadn't seen clingers since they were vaulted way back in Chapter 1. But thanks to the Boom Rifle, they're back and better than ever. When the clinger fired by the Boom Rifle hits an enemy, they're going to take 10 damage and then further 60 damage when it actually explodes. If you manage to land a headshot with this explosive firing sniper, then you're going to do 25 damage on impact but the explosion will remain at 60. Sure, uh, okay, like this might not sound too dangerous on paper, but when you factor in how fast the Boom Sniper Rifle actually fires its shots, I mean, this could end up being really dangerous, right? Build destroyed in an instant. I mean, health melted in just a few explosions. It's, it's got some serious firepower. So the Boom Sniper can be found on an island at the northeastern side of Stealthy Stronghold. It's owned by Splode, who can usually be found in the small shack on the island, but can also be found just walking around outside. The exotic weapon is worth a total of 600 gold bars, meaning that it would be pretty hard just to get this weapon straight away. However, the storm ends up taking you there over the course of the game. You should definitely try and just visit Splode for the Boom Sniper. Bunch of Crunch Army, here we go. Next up, we've got the Shadow Tracker. Though you might remember it as the suppressed pistol from previous seasons, the suppressed pistol has always been a fun item to use and now it has finally made its return with some pretty extreme changes that can make it incredibly useful if you want to keep track of your opponents no matter where they end up running. Once you actually tag an enemy with the shadow tracker, your opponent's going to be highlighted on your screen in a similar way to if you had shaken someone down in duos or trios or squads. They light up bright red with a little diamond above their heads, allowing you to see them no matter where they might run off to. So considering we're coming up on a trio's only tournament season, this can end up being really useful if the last player in the trio ends up just slipping away after you tag them. You would be able to just hunt them down and just take them out without ever having to worry about the rest of the trio being rebooted. So the new Shadow Tracker can be found in the Dirty Docks. Provided by Reese, who usually hangs out in the big blue warehouse on the left-hand side of the POI. 
So you can just pick the Shadow Tracker up for a reasonably cheap 400 gold, which can be picked up fairly easily in a high traffic area like Dirty Docks if you manage to get some lucky bounties. The pistol is pretty powerful even when you don't consider its incredible tracking features. It deals 28 damage for every hit to the body and an incredible 58 damage every time you manage to nail someone in the noggin. So if you got solid aim and a rapid trigger finger, all right, then this weapon is going to be easy for you guys to master. All right, bunch of crunch on me. It's time for our question of the day. Here we go. You guys still here? Come on now, let's go. Have you been using any exotics in your game? Whether it be, you know, normal matches or arena, we want to know, man, if you've been making use of these extra arsenals that have been made available to you this season. All right, guys, the double barrel shotgun, better known as the dub, used to be the absolute scourge of chapter one. And I'm pretty sure that we all remember this shotgun from way back in the day with people running around and, you know, one pumping other players left and right and, and center, right? Like, well, you shouldn't worry too much because this shotgun actually works pretty different to the other shotguns in the game. And so to really get the most out of it, you really do have to be like right up in someone's face. So we say that the best way to use this weapon is to box your enemy up and then get right into their face, man, and just pull the trigger, right? Like if you manage to land your shot properly, you're going to be doing a huge 120 damage to the body. And, and if you can manage to hit all your pellets to their head, you're going to be doing 150. However, I will say this, like once you fire that first shot, you better make sure that you're not on high ground because firing this weapon has the same effect as the flint knock pistol. Like it's going to send you soaring through the air. And if you're not paying attention, this could send you hurtling off of a build, potentially eliminating you to fall damage. However, this special flint knock effect can also be extremely useful. Someone knock out your build and you don't have a bouncer, <laughs> just aim at the ground moments before you hit and you're going to easily be able to bounce away from danger. So to get this exotic weapon, you need to find the dummy NPC. So there are two locations the dummy can be hanging out at. The first just outside of Pleasant Park and the second at the junkyard location just outside of Dirty Dot. So to purchase the dub from the dummy, all right, you need a total of 600 gold, which can be earned by completing all the different quests that the dummy provides. Last but certainly not least, okay, we're going to be talking about the Nighthawk Exotic Pistol. Like, you know, quite a few of the weapons we've spoken about today, this weapon was also around back in Chapter 1, only then it was known as the Scoped Revolver. The difference from its old school counterpart, okay, the scope has had a bit of an upgrade. Instead of just rocking a normal scope, the Nighthawk actually has a thermal scope. This means, man, that players wandering around the map are going to show up as a white glow on your scope, making it a whole lot easier for players just to tag them and deal some damage at range. On the subject of damage, all right, if you manage to land a body shot, you're going to be doing 44 damage and the headshot will be dealing a decent 88 damage per shot. So considering this is a medium ammo weapon and not a heavy ammo weapon, those are some pretty impressive numbers for a long range pistol. So you can get this in the Butter Barn from the Man Kick NPC. The weapon is pretty cheap when compared to, you know, a lot of other exotics in the game, only clocking in at 400 gold. So you can try out bounties or even try your luck dropping in at Risky Reels or the Coliseum to pick up some gold from a safe. Man, it's going to be pretty interesting to watch how the pros use these new exotic weapons in upcoming FNCS. Especially now, you know, that their prices have been reduced and the amount of gold that you get for completing bounties has been increased. I mean, they may even be useful to you guys in your very next game of Arena. So check it out. Try it out. Hey, if you guys liked the video, you already know what to do, man. When we reach 1 million subscribers, we're going to be releasing my story of how your motivation guy became who I am today. I'm so excited for that. It's going to be very inspiring. Connect with my Instagram at your motivation guy. And guys, keep grinding. I'll see you soon.